Doctor, I'd like to ask you something that might seem a bit irrelevant. My mother's been diagnosed with frontotemporal dementia, I think it's called. I was surprised. I mean, how many types of dementia are there? Is it a better or worse diagnosis from the point of view of prognosis or drug treatments? Are the prospects different? Frontotemporal dementia is one of the many forms of dementia. Uh, there are, in fact, about 50 forms of dementia. Uh, Alzheimer's disease is the most common, but there are others. Uh, there's vascular dementia, frontotemporal dementia, uh, Lewy body dementia, and some other rarer forms as well. Uh, frontotemporal dementia is a different form from Alzheimer's disease because it has a different molecular cause. In Alzheimer's disease, the beta amyloid toxic protein plays a fundamental role in the neurodegeneration, but it has nothing to do with frontotemporal dementia. Um, this also has implications for the development of drugs, because while there are a large number of drugs being developed for Alzheimer's disease, uh, targeting beta amyloid in particular, but also aimed at blocking tau, um, the other target molecule, unfortunately, there are far less drugs being developed for frontotemporal dementia. The target molecule is still the tau protein, but because it's such a, a rarer form, the number of drugs being trialed is obviously lower. I see. But apart from new drugs being tested, what can I get from the pharmacy for this other type of dementia? Well, unfortunately, there are no specific drugs for this form. The, um, the symptomatic treatments for Alzheimer's disease, uh, the ones that act on the cholinergic and glutamate systems, don't work on frontotemporal dementia. In fact, cholinergic system drugs actually seem to have adverse effects. Uh, they can worsen cognitive performance rather than improve it, but um, this doesn't mean that there aren't other things we can do in terms of environmental management and uh, non-drug treatments.